Hey, Mike, let's have a recording session in Logic Pro X. What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. I'm Wavy Wayne from WavyWayne.com, and this channel is all about helping you to record and mix better and faster. So, if you came here to see a recording session in Logic Pro X, well, you came to the right place. You clicked on the right video. You subscribe to the right channel, man. Let's get it. All right. So I just got Logic Pro X opened up right now. And, you know, when you open Logic, they always prompt you to start a new track. But it's blank, man. It ain't no sauce on it. It ain't no soul on it. If I'm an artist, if I'm going to be recording a song, I want to hear some reverb. I want to hear some delay. I want to hear some auto tune. I want my vocals to be EQ'd so I can feel like I'm singing into the final version of the song. That's going to drive my creativity, especially the way that I like to create. So one of the first things that I'm actually going to do in this session is I'm going to switch over and go ahead and open up a Logic Pro template. All right. I got these templates that I made on my website, wavywayne.com. You can go there and download these templates right now and it'll get you set up with all of the effects and the, the tracks and, and, and everything that I'm about to use right now. The whole workflow that I use is going to be right here. So I'm going to actually go over and open up this It's going to close this session out just by double clicking on my session file. And now we got something that looks like a session that's ready to be worked in. All right. I got a track for my beat. I got a special track to record on. It's going to be low latency. I got a track for my lead vocals, my hook box, my ad libs. If you come on here, I got tracks for a bunch of different effects. I even got parallel compression set up already. So, I'm literally ready to get started recording and mixing without having to do too much in this session at all. So let's go ahead and jump in. One of the first things I'm going to do is drop a beat in here. All right. So I'm going to go over. I got a, a nice little fire beat in my downloads. I'm going to drag it and drop it right onto that beat track. And then I'm going to scoot this up to make sure that it's right at the tippity. OK, now I already know the BPM of this joint, but how we find out the BPM and I have a whole video showing you another multiple ways to find out the BPM and logic. I'll leave the link to that down in this video, but I got my BPM counter up right now. All I need to do is open that up. I'm going to play the beat for a little bit and the tempo is going to be detected for me. All right. So let's just go ahead and put on my wavy one headphones, which are super great for situations like this. Anytime that you are recording, if you don't want the sound coming out the headphones to get into the microphone, then you need isolating headphones. The wavy one studio headphones are professional reference headphones that attenuate 33.4 dB of sound leaving from the headphones that also uh, isolates you in the room so that you can focus on what's coming out of the headphones and not the sound in whatever environment that you're in. You can get these right now at wavy1.com. I'm sorry, at wavywayne.com. And if you shoot me a text, you text my line and you say, yo, I want a pair of wavy ones. I'll text you a 15% discount. All right. So go ahead and check that out. I'm going to go ahead and put these on. And let's listen to this uh, beat as we find the tempo. Yeah. Uh. Uh. So like I was saying, man, that beat is sitting right at about 80 beats per minute. So I'm just going to come right up here to my uh, tempo at the top and knock in 80 beats per minute. Right. That's just going to make my grid conform to everything that I needed to do with this session. It's also going to make sure that my time based effects like my delays will actually be in time with the music. And I don't got to do too much more on top of that. OK, um, I also have auto key on here, which is a dope little plug in. The auto key is actually going to allow me to detect the key of this song so that I can drop it into whatever auto tune that I'm going to be using. All right. So I need plugins they load as needed yeah 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 we know that the logic saves the power so you might see your plugins grayed out like this they'll come act become active once they're needed so with auto key all i gotta do is play this for a few seconds once the key is detected i'm gonna hit the send to auto tune button and then it'll send that to all of the auto tunes that i have active inside my session all right so let me just get these active to make sure that they all get that auto key and here we go let's do it
auto key works pretty quickly it's giving me back a key of e minor so we're gonna rock with that i already hit send to auto tune when i open up my auto tune plugin you can see that e minor has been set um i only i ain't really feeling like low mail today i'm gonna go with auto tenor alto tenor and i'm gonna turn that retune speed all the way up so um this is actually on my record track right yeah we on that record track i'm on the right track and i just have an eq and an rvox on that track to keep it real simple and low latency for recording so um i don't really got no idea for the song that i'm gonna make for y'all today we just gonna go ahead and go off the top so i'll show you all these features and show you how you can punch in and and record from uh scratch with no idea so i'm gonna just go ahead and record enable the track here let me go to my inspector to make sure that we gucci all right and we should be on input one for that mic we're gonna record enable Oh, uh, yeah, sounding good. Hey, man, I want to give a big shout out to Mackie for sponsoring this video. They make studio gear that's built like a tank. And right now we have a giveaway going on that you can enter to win some amazing prizes. If it's still going on, you can click the link down in the description below to enter. Turn my headphones up a little bit. And let's get started. I'm going to record this. Yeah. I'm feeling like a man now. I didn't care what we're playing. I'm feeling like a hot now. I'm feeling like a man. I'm feeling like a man. I'm feeling like a man now. Alright, cool. I like that. Um, I'm feeling like a man now. I'm feeling like a um, I'm gonna turn this beat down a little bit. That's one thing I need to do. I actually got this game plug in on there. Uh, negative six. I think we need to go to like negative ten to back that thing off. But let me hear what I just did because I kind of like some of that. I'm feeling like I'm, I'm feeling like the man now. Yeah. I didn't care what we the plan. I'm feeling like I'm hot now. All right, so I think the first line, I'm going to just say, I'm feeling like the man now. I'm feeling like the man. All right, I'm going to keep it simple. Let's record. Yeah. yeah. I'm feeling like the man now. Yeah. I'm feeling like the man. I'm feeling like the man now. I'm feeling like the man. I'm feeling like the man. I had to get my auto tune right, B. That wasn't right. I'm feeling like the man. I'm feeling like the man. Let's hear it. Let's do it again. Yeah. I'm feeling like the man now. I'm feeling like the man. Let me hear that. I'm feeling like the man now. I'm feeling like the man. Got a hundred grand now. I'm feeling like the man now. I'm feeling like the man. Got a hundred grand now. I'm stacking up my bed. No. Yeah, I kind of like that. I kind of like that. Let me hear that one more time. Make sure it's cool. I'm feeling like the man now. I'm feeling like the man. Got a hundred grand now. I'm stacking up my bed. A couple hundred, got a couple hundred grand now. I, I, was, I just want to add some more syllables to that third line, so we're gonna change that instead of grand now. Instead of uh, instead of what it is. Man, got a couple hundred grand now. Okay, let me do it. Let me do that again. Let me uh, get rid of that. Man, no. I'm feeling like the man. Got a couple hundred grand now. All right, let me see where we at. Now we got to get in here and edit this. We got to get in here and edit this. I'm going to trim this off. Okay. That's it. Feeling like the man. Got a couple hundred grand now. Worth a couple hundred grand now. All right, bet. We just going to trim that up. We going to trim that up. Bing, bing. Okay, lemon squeeze. Lemon squeezy. 
Got a couple hundred grand now. Get up my bed. Okay, got a couple hundred grand now. Let's trim that off and then come with the last line. Man, got a couple hundred grand now. I feel like the man now. I, I kind of like that. Hundred grand now. I feel like the man now. All right, let's do that again. Like the man. Got a couple hundred grand now. I feel like the man. Ah oh, man, do that again. I don't like that. I don't like that. Feeling like the man. Got a couple hundred grand now. I feel like the man. Yeah, now. All right, let's hear that. Feeling like the man. Got a couple hundred grand now. I feel like the man. Yeah, now. All right, that's cool. And I'm gonna just take that last now off. I don't like that, man. That, it was sound. It was a good idea, but we don't need that. All right, all right. So what I'm gonna do? I take this off record. What I'm gonna do now is just drop this down to my lead uh, hook, my hook vocals track. I'm just drag and drop that right down. Let's hear what kind of changes have been made since there's more effects, different type of effects on this uh, lead vocal track. Let's hear it. Yeah. I'm feeling like the man now. I'm feeling like the man. Got a couple hundred grand now. I feel like the man. Yeah, yeah I like those uh, uh, delays on there. I'm going to turn that up a little bit. Let's hear that. I'm feeling like the man now. I'm feeling like the man. Got a couple hundred grand now. I feel like the man. Yeah. All right, dope. I like that. I like that. Let's come up to my record track again. I'm gonna do some ad libs on this bad boy, and let's see what we get. Yeah. I'm feeling like the man now. I'm feeling like the man. I'm feeling like the man. Like the man. Got a couple hundred grand now. Got a couple hundred grand. I feel like the man. I feel like the man. Yeah. I, bet. I, think I think I like, I like them. them. Let's just turn that off. I'm going to trim this first little part off. We don't need that. And then I'm going to drag this right down to the... Uh, all right, make sure it's in line. Drag that right down to my ad-lib track. Let's hear that. I'm feeling like the man now. I'm feeling like the man. Got a couple hundred grand now. I feel like the man. Yeah. That sounds tight. Um, I, those alleys, there's a little quiet. It might be, uh, I'm rolling a little bit too many of the highs off. Let's back this up. The dope thing about this template is that it's like a hundred percent customizable. You can change and maneuver anything how you want at any given time to get the sound that you want. It's all just some really great starting places. I'm feeling like the man now. I'm feeling like the man. Got a couple hundred grand now. I feel like the man. Ooh, we saucy. Let me hear that. I'm feeling like the man now. I'm feeling like the man. Got a couple hundred grand now. I feel like the man. <laughs> I feel like the man. You can feel like the man too, or the woman when you are recorded with one of my session templates. Super easy to use, easy to get started with. Um, it just gives you the flavor that you want, the sound that you need to be more creative, to be inspired during your recording session. I'm Wavy Wayne from wavywayne.com. Make sure you shoot me a text if you want to learn more about the Wavy Seals Elite or getting certified in your DAW. All right, y'all be dope. Thank you.